Today I'm going to show you the bookcase called the IKEA Expedit, and I'm not 100% sure on the pronunciation of that, but I believe that's correct. Now this unit is fairly well known amongst gamers because it's a fantastic solution for storing games, and it's also reasonably priced. Here in Australia I picked this one up behind me for $189. The unit I'll be showing you today measures 149cm wide, 149cm high, and 39cm deep. Both bigger and smaller units in the same range are available though, so you can go to IKEA's website to get the measurements and prices for those. Okay, well like most IKEA products, there is some assembly to be done, so let's check it out. Okay, so the assembly is fairly straightforward. As you can see, I was able to do it by myself, which really does mean that it must be fairly straightforward. Now, although I did it by myself, it would be much easier to assemble if two people were present. Also, when picking up the unit from the store itself, it is a heavy unit, so I would highly recommend having two people there for that. The unit is also available in different colours. The one shown here is black brown, but white and also birch units are available. There are accessories as well that you can pick up as a separate purchase, such as doors and inserts, which might be a nice idea if you had a lot of smaller games that don't really stack well, such as some card games with awkward shaped boxes. As I mentioned, this unit is fairly well known amongst gamers. I've seen it mentioned on Board Game Geek quite a few times, but I actually found out about it from a mate of mine who uses them in his store. My mate recently opened the Good Game store in Newcastle and he uses these units there to display the board games. So it was there that I first saw them and thought, you know, I could use something like that at home and it was him who told me where I could get them. Uh, and for me, look, it was a very wise in investment to, to get one of these. It was getting to the point where I just had a clutter of games wherever I could fit them, which is, you know, it's certainly not ideal. Now, a couple of things worth mentioning about the unit. You can remove the divider, as I did here, to fit in wider games. The unit also comes with a wall bracket, so you can attach it to a wall if need be. It is a very solid unit, though, so I have no desire to attach it to a wall. But if you have youngsters that think everything is a ladder, it might be a good idea to attach it to a wall because, as I mentioned, it's very heavy and you don't want it coming down on them. A few wider games, such as the Ravensburger boxes, actually fit nicely in upright. Same with Battleship Galaxies, and I was really happy about that because it saves a lot of room by having those larger games sit in upright. Another thing I like with my older cases when I was vacuuming, the vacuum cleaner would often hit the game boxes on occasion, so I was always trying to not hurt my games with the vacuum cleaner. But because this lower section is thick, that's no longer an issue, which is excellent. The unit does also come with stick-on pads for the bottom of it, so you won't scratch up the floor surface if it's not carpeted, which we don't have carpet here, so I also really appreciated that those were included and I didn't have to pick them up as a separate purchase. So look, if you're looking at storing your games in a nice unit, there is a reason this one has a good reputation. It really is ideal for games. I can fit around 80 games in this unit and a few gaming accessories as well. So, look, what can I say? The IKEA Expedit, it's good. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon.